All right, guys, I'm going to put a couple of links in the description box below here on Hump Day. Woot, woot. It is Hump Day. I've got one editorial for you, but I'm putting two links below. The second one is, remember when the, uh, I think it was a little girl that stole the doll from the dollar store, and they had the pregnant mother, and she had the baby in her arms, and they beat the father, kicked his legs out from under him, and started punching him on the ground, and uh, abused the mother, the pregnant mother of the girl who took the doll remember all that the dollar store it was in phoenix arizona well the phoenix officer has been fired that's right he's been fired and the other officer was given a reprimand bad baby but at least they fired the one so he was terminated he'll go be a cop in some other state somewhere under an assumed name i don't know but I put that link down below if you want to go read that. That's an update to that story that that officer has been canned. Kicked to the curb. So, hey, we got one. We got one. By doing editorials on it, by doing stories, by, you know, I would like to take some credit for it. I don't know that I can, but that's why I'm doing this. So the whole nation knows. And that way, if any of the management, the city mayor or the city council or any of them come across my editorial, they can go, oh, my God. We're being talked about in California. Uh, and we can start getting rid of these scumbag cops. Now, when I say that, I'm talking specifically about those cops. If the slipper fits, wear it, cinder fella. So uh, we go to Connecticut on this other one. And a link to that is in the description box below as well. You know, this one happened back in April, but they just had... An update to it, and his court appearance is October 28th, this uh, coming Monday. So I'm going to give you that one here out of Connecticut. And, you know, this is one where it's happening way too often, by the way. Cops are just pulling their gun now and just, I'm shooting. I feared for my life, man. I was scared. I was a scared, so I shot. See, you gave him the Ali Ali oxen free there. And uh, wasn't it um, the vice president, Mike Pence? Didn't he do that? I could be mistaken. I don't know. It's early. I hadn't had my coffee. But I think it was Mike Pence, isn't it, who gave them the uh, open gate to say, just go say, you know, I was scared and you can shoot. Because it's happening way too often. How many editorials have I done <clears throat> in the last 10 days on cops shooting someone, cops firing their gun, cops shooting, cop shot, cop shooting, cop shot, cop shot, cop shooting someone? And when I say cop shot, I'm not talking about cop being injured. I'm talking about cop pulled his gun and shot. How many editorials have I done in the last 10 days on this? It's just happening way too often. I want to tell you cop watchers out there, you fellow cop watchers like myself, when we're out there with a camera and we roll up on a cop stop, we're putting our lives out on the street. You know that, right? That cop could turn around and go, he's got something in his hand. Bang. Oh, he has something in his hand. That's why I hold my phone out like this. If they don't see my iPhone and that little symbol, they're just looking for a reason to shoot me. And they probably are looking for a reason to shoot me. And they don't like me around here. <clears throat> so uh, this comes to us from NBC News. Thank you, NBC News. Associ and by the Associated Press are giving us this story, and we're going to do an editorial on it. A Connecticut police officer who opened fire on an unarmed couple's car, seriously wounding a woman, was charged Monday with assault and reckless endangerment. He wasn't charged with attempted murder or, you know, attempted anything like that. He was charged with assault, not even aggravated assault, it says. I don't know, maybe it was, but here it says assault and reckless endangerment. I see probation coming. State's attorney Patrick Griffin said in an investigation report that Hamden officer Devin Eaton showed an extreme indifference to human life and that the use of force April 16th in New Haven was not justified. Eaton, 29, who has been on the force for three years, posted $100,000 bail and was ordered to appear in court October 28th to face one count of first degree assault and two counts of first degree reckless endangerment. He did not return a message seeking comment. His lawyer, Gregory Serratelli, said Eaton and fellow officers are distraught by the arrest and the case sends a chilling message to law enforcement. He declined to discuss the, discuss the specific, specifics of the allegations. Listen to what he says here, guys. 
Police officers are called upon to make split-second decisions and exercise their judgment and discretion. It's a sad day for the law enforcement community because the message Officer Eaton's arrest sends is that they need to be 100% right 100% of the time. That's not true. They don't have to be right 100% of the time or 100% right 100% of the time. But when you pull your firearm, when you pull a gun and it's got fucking bullets in it, you better be right. Okay, I was in the army. I held a rifle. It had bullets in it. So I kind of know what it's like to have a rifle and bullets and, you know, that you could use this to shoot people. And I get all that to a, a certain degree. I've never policed the streets. But I'll say this. They need to understand when you pull that gun and it's got bullets in it, it will kill someone. You better be right. And it doesn't seem that they are. How many editorials am I doing where the pe person was unarmed? The person was in their own home. The person, and they're being shot by cops. Cops are pulling their guns on unarmed people. I, I, he thought he saw, had something in his hand. You're about to find out this cop was fucking wrong. No, they don't have to be 100% right 100% of the time. But they need to understand when they pull their gun, they better be fucking right because it's got bullets in it. And if they pull that trigger back, it could kill that person. It could take a human life. They better be right because if they're wrong, then they needed to have another job. They're in the wrong occupation. This job is about knowing what's going on right then, right there. Not, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm so fucking scared. He don't have a gun? Well, what did he do this for? Because he was raising his hands, dumb shit. We're about to find that out. The shooting sparked several protests in New Haven and neighboring Hamden and prompted calls from an area clergy and activists for the two officers involved to be fired. According to the police, Eaton and Yale University officer Terrence Pollock both opened fire on the car, which matched the description of one involved in a reported attempted armed robbery. After the driver, Paul Witherspoon III got out abruptly. Eaton's body camera video shows Witherspoon, who was not injured, starting to exit the car and appearing to raise his hands when Eaton begins shooting. Witherspoon then quickly gets back into the vehicle. Yeah, he was fucking scared. Eaton, who told authorities he thought Witherspoon had a gun. I thought he had a gun. Eaton, who told authorities he thought Witherspoon had a gun, fired a few shots at the driver's side of the car, then ran to the other side and fired again, blowing out the passenger side windows. Witherspoon's girlfriend, Stephanie Washington, 22, was wounded but survived. More details of her, in her injuries were released Monday, showing she was struck by one bullet that fractured, listen to this, her pelvis and her spine. Fine. Washington said, quote, it was like being in a nightmare. I thought I was going to die. No kidding. In a sworn statement to police release Monday, investigators later determined determine Eaton fired 13 times. 13. 13. And Pollock three times. Pollock's use of deadly force was found to be justified, Griffin said. That's the state's attorney. Because the officer believed Eaton and Witherspoon were exchanging gunfire. His partner hears the gun going off and goes, oh, crap. Why'd you shoot? I don't know. He was shooting. Shots from Eaton's gun injured both Washington and Pollock, who suffered a grazed wound. Eaton shot his own partner. Eaton, I'm going to say it again, shots from Eaton's gun injured both Washington and Officer Pollock. A sworn statement by Eaton to investigators was released Monday. I could see that he was not holding anything in his left hand, but as he began to turn towards me, I saw Witherspoon begin to raise his right arm and it appeared he was holding an object in his right hand, which I believed to be the gun. Based on close proximity to me and his sudden and aggressive actions on exiting the vehicle, I was afraid the operator was about to shoot me and cause me seriously. But let me, I'm going to read this real slow. Based on his close proximity to me and his sudden and aggressive actions when exiting the vehicle, 
I was afraid that the operator, that's Witherspoon, was about to shoot me and cause me serious bodily injury or death. That's not something you just say. That's a script. That's a script. I thought he was going to cause me serious bodily injury or death. That's a script. I need to say that again. Griffin, that state's attorney, said no weapons were found on Witherspoon, Washington, nor in the car. They found no weapons. But this cop thought he was about to die. (sighs) You know, you walk up and the cops put their flashlight in your camera and in your face Remember I asked that one you Kaipa cop, <clears throat> do you do that with every pedestrian? Well, I don't know who's walking up on me. I'm walking down the fucking sidewalk. So these cops are out there, and when someone walks up, they go, <sighs> slow my heartbeat. And it's an 85-year-old woman walking a dog. It's me walking up with a camera. Oh, oh, oh shit it's a camera i thought you had a gun hands up don't shoot there's more to this story there's a whole lot more i'm not i don't know if i'm gonna read the whole thing i might just skim through it and then you can go back and read it for yourself um well there's not too much but i'll let you go and read it for yourself another lawyer for eaton elliot specter said eaton did not know the other officer had arrived at the scene and believed witherspoon was shooting at him when in reality it was the other officer firing the gun so these two clowns are shooting at the car both thinking the other one's witherspoon he's the only guy not shooting and both these cops think he's shooting and so they're both shooting into the fucking car like a couple of cowboys. Griffin, that's the state's attorney, listened to this, said in his investigation report that some of Eaton's statements conflicted with the evidence. Ha, huh, really? Get the fuck out of here. His statements conflicted with evidence? Get out of here. Cops don't lie. And that the Yale officer didn't start to fire his weapon until Eaton already had fired eight times. Under circumstances evincing an extreme indifference to human life, he recklessly recklessly engaged in conduct which created a risk of death and thereby caused serious physical injury to Washington, the state's attorney Griffin said in his report. Additionally, the reckless manner in which the shots were discharged placed those in the immediate vicinity, the background they call it, including Paul Witherspoon and Officer Pollock at risk for serious physical injury. Witherspoon and Washington, as well as both officers, are black. So basically all of them are black or African-American. And they all, you know, you got to bring race into it. Because, um, I mean, think about it for a second. Really think about it. I know you guys are going to hate me for saying this, but it's this is the way we are in America today. Think if both those officers were white. Or think if Witherspoon and Washington were white. It's just, it's, it's, it's an interesting concept. Um, <clears throat> President of the Connecticut State Conference of the NAACP said Monday, that's Scott S. Uh, S. Dale. I probably got it wrong. I apologize, Mr. S. Dale. Said Monday that he continued to believe both officers should have been arrested. Well, Eaton definitely should have been arrested. <clears throat> as Dale added being arrested is one thing and getting convicted is another we've seen officers arrested but walk away without being convicted it's no time to celebrate we still have a long way to go and we do this guy hasn't even been convicted yet and he has only been charged with assault and reckless endangerment he'll be on probation Yale officials said Pollock remains on leave pending the outcome of an internal affairs justification no oh, it says investigation yeah the shooting followed a report attempted armed robbery. The shooting followed a reported attempted armed robbery at a gas station in Hamden. The clerk later told police he didn't see a gun, and surveillance video shows Witherspoon appearing to have an argument with another man, but not robbing him. I'm going to read that one again. 
So it may not have been an attempted robbery. Maybe he just got in an argument with somebody. The shooting follower report attempted armed robbery at a gas station. The clerk told police he didn't see a gun and surveillance video shows Witherspoon appearing to have an argument with another man, but not robbing him. So all of a sudden, oh my God, he's trying to rob that guy. Is he? I'm going to give you a theory and you guys comment on it. Remember when in, I think it was Texas when these young guys pulled into a gas station and they were listening to um, I had to do the fat boys. But remember that when they pulled in and it was like I hear that all the time driving up and down the boulevard. Music. And I'm not saying Witherspoon or Washington were listening to music. I'm just giving you a hypothesis here. And remember when that white guy was in Texas, I think, and the white guy got out of his truck and said, hey, man, turn your music down. He started getting into it with him about the music. It was too loud. And hey, you need to turn that shit down. And remember, they drove off and he fired into the van and he was charged. I don't remember with what, if it was homicide or if it's fatal or anything, but he was charged with firing his gun at these guys all over loud music at a gas station. That was in Texas. So back to this one, how do we know they weren't arguing, and maybe it wasn't music, maybe it was something else. They were obviously arguing with something because it says the video shows them appearing to have an argument. How do we know it wasn't something else? Like, hey man, you got five bucks I can buy. Why'd you get a fucking job? Yeah, hey, I just asked for money, you racist bastard. Who you calling racist? You know, whatever. Anything could have been going on there as an argument. But it's called in as a robbery. Oh, black man, you're arguing with somebody. It's got to be a robbery. And it ends up with his girlfriend getting shot. And I'll bet you, I will bet you a paycheck. There was no robbery. I'll bet you it was an argument over something, probably something stupid. They were yelling at each other, and then it got in each other's face, and then Witherspoon probably jumped in his car and sped off because he was pissed off. And the clerk called in a robbery. See something, say something. Unless you're a cop and it's your buddy, then don't say shit. Snitches get stitches and end up in ditches. Rats get bats. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will put the link to this in the description box. You can go and read the whole thing. Let me know what you think. Happy hump day. Woot woot. Community Leo Watch letting you know what's going on with law enforcement officers across your nation on this Wednesday. Thank you for watching, guys.